very quick video on the QF1022 timer and so what this timer does is I'm going to use it to control a fan and the fan is going to be connected to this part of the relay which is the normally closed and the common is going to be 110 volts um, it's rated for 220 but I'm running it now with 110 and it seems to work just fine with 110 so L1 is 110 volts that's what I'm running that in and then I've got the neutral right here and then uh, the fan goes to normally uh, closed and the I uh, got power uh, 110 volts running in on power so what happens is this um, potentiometer is used to delay the off so when you apply power to this the fans on in this configuration and then you wait for the timer to tick down this light will will uh, blink and um, then it will turn the fan off after a set amount of time you can buy these in three configurations with various delays but I'm attempting to run it in uh, about th about a 13 or 13 to 15 minute delay and it's uh, I bought the 0 to 100 version of this so I'll give you a quick illustration of what it looks like uh, what I've done is I'm bringing in a the power here on this connector here plugging the this bus bar in uh, this is a hundred and ten volt on the red and then uh, the neutral on the blue and I'm just using um, a neon bulb to show you that I do have power across this bus and then I have here I've got a neon light that is the fan that is being driven off of the uh, normally uh, closed lead this green lead my fan is being powered from the green lead so what I'm going to do real quickly is simulate um, where I put the fan I turn the fan on and say the bathroom fan and you can see it is in a countdown timer state the fan is on this this is the fan here and the power is on you can see over there just the power is on to the bus bar as soon as this timer expires the light will go solid like you saw before and this light will go off so it's for a situation where in my condo um, I've got a fan in the bathroom and people could leave it on for days well the condo is not occupied and so uh, I just want to just implement a simple timer here and this is uh, easy enough to do it's a like a less than five dollar part that I'm um, looking at here and it's a pretty simple circuit board you can read the rest of the details online about it so here's the way that it's configured uh, the configuration options and then you're gonna have to do a research a search on this string right here and that's that's gonna hopefully you'll be able to find the part I'm looking at so you can see here it's 0 to 10 hours and there's 0 to 100 minutes 0 to 10 minutes and then uh, 0 to 10 seconds it all comes in that configuration um, there's a brief spec sheet where it does say that you can run uh, I'm running a hundred and twenty now I said 110 before uh, dimensions and then just briefly um, the uh, you know what the pinout is on again, again I'm running a uh, common and normally closed so my uh, fan is on 
initially and then it goes off when the when the timer expires you can run it in the opposite configuration uh, there's some more information and here's uh, roughly the schematic that that I'm using I'm running the uh, fan as a uh, load and um, using a common neutral and uh, and just passing the 220 volts uh, using 220 for power and then just passing a 220 or what 120 in my case to the uh, load which is the fan uh, good luck on your project